Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, tutorial video and today we're going to look at the climbing uh, or the, take the climb on the 737 so this is tutorial number 9 so first a disclaimer I'm not a real world pilot so everything might not be 100% correct but it should be good enough for you to make a realistic flight inside the simulator so as you can see we have, we have just done our after take checklist and we're climbing up Passing soon uh, uh, a 9000 feet. You can say that we got a direct from ATC. So if you get a direct, you can go to the legs page and you select the waypoints. In this case, that's going to be Uxat. Select the waypoint Uxat and you replace it in the top here. Then you can see a white uh, line here. That's going to be the direct. And then you click on the execute. That's going to be uh, changed over to a magenta line. And then you are going to fly direct to that waypoint. So, as you can see now, we just passed 10,000 feet. And passing 10,000, you're going to turn off the landing lights. Turn off lights. And if you have the local lights, you can also go to turn that off. You can turn off the seatbelts if you are happy with the weather. So you're going to do that. Set it to auto. And you're also going to look at the pressurization. So we're going to look at the cabin altitude is uh, that the needles are actually moving and that the uh, cabin altitude is actually climbing as well you can see that here we're going to confirm your test you're going to check that you have the correct uh, cruising altitude landing altitude go to check auto 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 on off on check the dock pressure that is good it should be a should, uh, that there, there is no such uh, or a big difference between those two that's two needles in one and that's basically it and you're going to do that for every 10,000 feet so if you had a takeoff where you had a reduced climb, like climb 1 or climb 2, uh, you can delete that whenever you want. Uh, but that's going to be automatically changed over to auto, uh, or delete the climb, the climb 1 or climb 2 should automatically be deleted when passing 15,000 feet. But like I said, if you want to delete it, just click delete on the left side here where it says selected, uh, beside there. So, when you fly, you also got to match the heading to the uh, heading of the aircraft. So in this case, that's going to be uh, 153. As you can see here, you might see this little uh, upside down uh, a tr a triangle or... Uh, yeah. That is where they are heading. And what you see up here, that is your tracking. So that's, dif that's two different things. So, what you're tracking is not necessarily going to be the same as what your heading is. If you have a direct headwind, that's going, probably going to be the same, and head tailwind. But if you have a crosswind, that triangle might be uh, placed on a different uh, place here. So your heading selector is going to be following that one, not the tracking route, but the heading select. That's very important. But in this case, we do not have an or we do not have any crosswind of some sort, so we're just going to follow and the track is and the heading is going to be the same. So as you can see here, we are going to pass through some clouds, so in the climb, uh, you're going to set the engine start switch is continuous, if you have auto ignition, you can just leave it as it is, and you're going to turn the engine at the ice on. So, to determine if you want to, uh, or you need to turn on the engine at the ice in the climb, you can look at the true air temperature, if it is above plus 10 degrees, then you don't need to do it, and uh, if the temperature here at the progress page, next page, you get this uh, static air temperature. That if it is uh, up below minus uh, 40 degrees, you can turn it off. Because then it is so cold that you can't, uh, uh, that the ice can't build up on the aircraft. So if it is minus 40 degrees and below, you don't need to uh, have the engine at the ice on. But it is uh, currently uh, minus 2 degrees and it is uh, minus 21. So. It isn't cold enough, so we are just going to have it on. There you go, when you are passing clouds, you can select the engine start switches to off or auto, and you can turn off the engine and the ice. So again, when you are passing 20,000 feet, you are going to check the presentation and uh, check that everything is where it should be.
So yes, we are up at uh, over the past above the ground. You can turn off the train radar, that is probably not needed. And turn off the airport. Uh, you can turn off the airport, so we have the airport in the uh, area. One thing you also should do that I forgot in the pre-flight. Should turn on the traffic, so we can see traffic in the area. So again, here you can see that the track is 153, and you can see that it is off. Changing it, boom, now it is in the middle. Again, in a turning, not to match the heading. So we have no winds, so that means uh, it is going to be the same as the track, so that we can go down in FNC, FNC here. Get power, the clay point is going to be 179 degrees. So it's 179. And now, that should be the correct heading. Okay, so now when we are passing flight level 300, like now, we are going to again check the pressure station. And one thing also, a thousand to go. So when you hear that uh, beep there, we're going to say a thousand to go, that means you go to a thousand before we reach the altitude. Or increasing altitude, or the altitude are selected. Uh, so when you are passing flight level 300, you're going to change the heading select, uh, select, select it to 10 degrees. That means after, or if you select heading select and turn the aircraft, the aircraft's got to just back 10 degrees. This makes it more comfortable for the passengers inside the cabin. And, uh, yeah, this vice versa again. But uh, with this ending and passing flight to 350, set it back to 25. So just a thing to try to remember. Uh, this don't impact the LNAV. The LNAV uh, calculates everything uh, of its own. So that uh, has nothing to do with the LNAV. Just with the head state, in case you're getting vectors or to separate the traffic or weather up here. So there you go, you can see now we have our cruise. So then, uh, that is it for this tutorial. I hope that you have enjoyed and uh, uh, the next tutorial should be covering the descent. So like I said, hope that you have enjoyed and hope to see you again on our future live stream. So have a good one, bye bye.